this bike the other day and it's in great shape except somebody had left it out in the rain and so it's got some rusty parts on here especially the rusty chain and freewheel down here okay here's a close-up of how bad this stuff really is um, I was challenged by some of my, my viewers to uh, try a vapor rust on this to see what it would do and Okay, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. I do plan on replacing this chain in any case because chains are relatively cheap and so I don't like reusing a chain in this bad a condition. But it might be able to make this uh, freewheel cassette usable so I'm kind of curious to see what will happen. Okay, so this is what the parts look like before. Just all rusty as all heck. So I'm going to put these down in this little Tupperware container here. And so then I got my vapor rust here, a gallon of it. So I'll just pour this in. And I've actually used this stuff a little bit before and just put it back in the bottle. So this isn't just brand new of vapor rust. This is actually partially used. It's, it, haven't used it a whole lot though. And just cover the parts in here. And we'll go ahead and let it soak and see what it does. Okay, let's see how these things did here. I'm going to pull them out and rinse them off. They've been in there for a little over 24 hours. I had actually checked them a little after six hours and, you know, most of the rust was gone then. Um, but I was kind of busy uh, doing other stuff, so I couldn't really uh, finish the video at that point. So anyway, here they are. Uh, the freewheel, all the rust is gone. I think it looks pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a... Uh, Scrub brush, just dish soap and scrub it all down, get it all nice clean, maybe spray it down with some WD-40 or some rust inhibitor to keep it from rusting again. And I'll flush out the insides here with some WD-40, flush everything out and put some lubricant down in there, get it uh, turning nice and smoothly again. And I, I'm definitely going to reuse that. Now the chain on the other hand, um, it's all rust free, it's still ugly looking and I'm going to go ahead and replace that. I'm just a little bit leery about using, reusing a chain that was that rusty and I can put a brand new chain on there that's just going to look a lot nicer and the chain's about 10 bucks. I think it'll just look nicer, make the sell bike more resellable. Anyway, I think a vapor rust uh, lived up to the challenge admirably. Hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos as they, come, as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page over there. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, subscribe to that page. And I uh, have all my videos all categorized. I have some repair forms where you can ask repair questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.